Wait a minute. What the hell is it? Hello again. Welcome to From the Depths. A few weeks ago, I tried beating From the Depths' campaign on the highest difficulty. To beat it, all you have to do is kill the eight factions on the map. A feat only 0.2% of players have ever done. Why? Well, some factions have shitty wooden rat boats, some factions have steel armored battleships, and some factions have giant orbital death rays. To beat this campaign, I would have to build an entire navy of somewhat functional vessels, fight the most powerful enemies in the game with them, and here's the hard part, win. So, let us begin. We began our great conquest on this here starter fortress, All right. in the middle of the ocean, at the center of the map, surrounded by all eight factions. In one hour, the council would convene, and the fentanyl bag would hit the ceiling fan. There was no time to waste, so I started building a nice proper starter vessel. Building a nice proper starter vessel didn't last very long, however, before I got distracted. By Opera GX! That's right, you tiny pathetic- <laughs> This video is sponsored by Opera GX, definitely the web browser of all time. And guess what? what? Now it's even better. That's right, Opera GX has given me exclusive access to brand new features sure to blow you away. Introducing GX Facelift. Ooh, yeah. Look how good that browser looks. Mm. Mm, yeah. New GX mods. Enable light mode wallpaper. Change your splash screen. The most boss. Change the UI icons. Change the GX icon. And finally, change the entire UI font to Wingding. All of this will be available on November 20th. But that's not all. You can still download my mod. If you don't download my mod, I will hit this child with a stick. You don't want me to hit this child with a stick, do you? Oh. You do? Okay. Still not convinced? Well, how about the Quick Import Tool? In the click of a button, all of your bookmarks, cookies, and Chrome extensions seamlessly integrate into Opera oh. Gay Sex. Oh. Download Opera GX right now using the link in the description, or I will use my telepathic powers to port your testes. Or tubes. I don't discriminate. Thanks once again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Anyway. Building a nice proper starter vessel didn't last very long, however, before I got distracted. An army of tiny piss laser boats. This sent me down a bit of a rabbit hole. I put some lasers on our tiny little shitty starter boat, built 30 of them, named the fleet Jeremy. Jeremy watches porn and gets naked. <laughs> yeah! The council convened and chat told me to quote, release the Jeremy, which I interpreted as abandon talks and declare all out war. This is kind of the equivalent of visiting the United Nations, shitting your pants, getting into a fist fight with Xi Jinping, and throwing your shat pants at, I don't know, Obama or something. Needless to say, this pissed literally everyone off, and as you can probably imagine, Jeremy completely fucking folded at the first sign of resistance. <laughs> Fuck. Poor guy ended with a professional record of zero wins and three losses to the weakest enemies I was going to face in this entire game. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jeremy. So I threw that fucking thing in the bin and started work on a real boat. I began by laying down a thick metal hull for everything to sit inside, and placed in our critical subsystems. Propellers for propulsion, an engine for engining, a cock box to sit inside, and two guns and some missiles for killing things dead. Isn't she beautiful? The most powerful boat on the seven si- Wait. Oh fuck. It's sinking. Uh... Damn. How do I make it float? Buoyancy. Now, can anyone tell me about Archimedes' principle? No. Of course you can't. I'm in a screen, you fucking idiot. Archimedes' principle states that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of displaced fluid. Water weighs a thousand kilos per cubic meter, so any object displacing one cubic meter of water gets a thousand kilos of buoyant force. A cubic meter of wood weighs about 500 kilos, so it floats. While a cubic meter of steel is 8,000 kilos, so it sinks. But a boat isn't a solid block of steel. By volume, a boat is mostly air, which makes its average density lower than water. And thus... Flotation. Anyway, with that said, I added an air pump to the boat which pumps out all the water, and now, she floats. Gentlemen, I present to you our new vessel. It can float, shoot gun, shoot missile, and best of all, it can take one, maybe two hits before its ammo cooks off and violently explodes. An incredible vessel. Naturally, I built two more, expending all of my materials, and sent them into battle. Prepare for battle. Our opponent for today was this cool yacht thing. Begin. Go! Kill! Oh my fucking god! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's coming straight towards me. Oh shit. No, 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 no,
Oosh. Fuck off, man! Okay, missiles, go. <laughs> None of them are going for the right target. Okay. Oh, fuck, he's coming towards me. Wait, no, I didn't jump! Quick, 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 get on! Yes! Hold on, I might be able to, might be able to sneak my way in. I'm in! Oh, there it is, there it is. Yes! See it? <laughs> boy. Now, this might look like a common team on Kalpa W to you, but, uh, they all got... Ah! <sighs> yeah. <laughs> obliterated. All of my boats might have been obliterated, but I now had a new one. That cool super yacht thing that I took over. The Eclipse. Naturally, I took our newly acquired cool yacht thing and sent it directly at the enemy. It, uh... Didn't go very well. Holy shit, there's so much going on! That's my guy. That's my friend. Oh no! What's going on? Another nuke has gone off. Alright, how's the eclipse gonna do? Oh no! Oh no. They're all ganging up on me. Ah, another nuke! <laughs> I'm getting pulled away. Holy shit, it's pulling me out of the water. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, Help! <laughs> Help! Abduction. Well, fuck. That was pretty much all my materials. Shit. So, I sat there, watching the enemy slowly close in on all sides, and before I knew it, our final stand. Go home, sweet home. Defend yourself. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Absolutely evaporated. Well, that was a quick fight. And with that, we had lost. I think declaring war on everyone was a bad idea. Controversial take. And with that, we began attempt number two. All right, first things first, this boat might be the worst vessel ever created. Get it out of my sight right fucking now. Now, our last attempt at building a boat sucked. A lot. So this time I was gonna do things differently. To start with, I found the prefab hulls and in two clicks created the bow and stern of our glorious new vessel. Several minutes of construction later and we had created version one of our next battleship. Piss man. Whatever happened to Pissman 1, we do not know. Pissman 2's primary armament was this. A big, fat, yellow laser. The Piss Laser. Now, it might not look finished, and that's because it's not, but before I had time to finish it, the council convened. This time, I did not declare war against literally everyone, but against these three easy factions. Gentlemen, it was time to see what Pissman 2 was really made of. Begin! Oh my god, hi there! Hit him with a laser! Hit him with it! Oh my god. I'm si am I sinking? I'm sinking. Oh my god, I think we're actually gonna win a fight against something that can't even move. I'm literally the best. Oh, there we go. Glorious victory! Yes! 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 With that victory, it's I time. kept going. It's time! Begin the battle! Kill! Oh. Holy shit! Well, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Kill! Kill! Full throttle! Go, 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 go! Oh my god, this laser is so powerful. Yes! One wing down! Yes! Yes! He's going down! The piss laser is victorious again. Okay, go! <laughs> He's going right towards me. He's going really fast. That's scary. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No, 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 no. Oh my god! Holy shit, he's pushing me so fast. Ah! Ah! Help! Help! Oh my god, he just cut my boat in half. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Health below 80% and sinking. Sit the fuck down! How are you? I'm under the water. <laughs> We had narrowly escaped Pissman 2 getting chopped completely in half. 
but we'd won. Naturally, I sent it out again to fight this horrible thing. The same horrible thing that had ended the first run. It's time to kill! No, oh, he's coming at me! Kill! 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 Oh god, what is that? No, he's pulling me upwards. No, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Help! Help! No, 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 no. I don't like this at all. This is bad. This is really bad. Unhand me at once, you foul creature. Oh my god, no! No! This man too! No! Oh my god. Down we go. I'm killing you, you fuck. Oh wait, it's dying. It's dying. No way. Die faster. Die faster. Quick, die faster. Yes! <laughs> Shit. This man too emerges victorious. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Now, before you mourn the passing of Piss Man 2, it's not dead. Sure, this particular Piss Man 2... Very much dead. But we still had its blueprint. And with its blueprint, we could rebuild. And once we did rebuild, it was time for some upgrades. Okay, problem number one, Piss Man 2 is currently one continuous volume. This means if a hole is poked in the hull over here, the entire volume immediately floods and the boat sinks. We can mitigate this by adding bulkheads, essentially just sectioning off parts of the boat so a hole in one part only floods a small compartment. Next, I beefed up the armor on the side of the boat and added some missiles. I then took it to fight another enemy and fucking died. No, 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 no! Ah! This fight taught me another valuable lesson. Don't put the chair and fire control computer out in the open. Like an idiot. You fucking dumbass. Fucking stupid fuck. With that problem solved, I added some more guns, and before I knew it, it was time for Piss Man 2 to vaporize more merchant vessels. So that is exactly Let's go. what I did. <laughs> Another one of these things. Oh! Oh! <laughs> With several glorious victories for the Pissman fleet, we had collected quite a bit of new territory. Of course, I wanted to keep the pressure up and continue fighting hard. But as time goes on, the enemy factions build larger and larger ships. Soon, the Pissman fleet would be outclassed. It was for this reason that I decided to expand the fleet and build yet another vessel. So, I got to work. The first thing I did was lay down the foundations by building a big alloy tube. Then, an explosion of divine brilliance shone upon me from the heavens. Oh my god. It's average size. Even better, I was going to make this bad boy fly. So I placed in a bunch of thrusters, in the ballsack of course, and took to the skies. Oh, and it hovers! And guess what? It was flopping all over the fucking place. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. This craft needs PIDs. Okay, enough of the floppy penis vehicle. Let me introduce you to a new vehicle. It has one issue. It won't stop flopping around. It flies using these thrusters, and these thrusters are controlled by this controller. Right now, it's trying to hover at 20 meters. This is the craft's set point, where it's trying to be. You can think of it as the goal, and currently the goal is to hover at exactly 20 meters. Obviously, it's struggling. Right now, if it's below the set point, it applies thrust up, if it's above, it applies thrust down, and if it's at the set point, it applies no thrust whatsoever. This is dumb. Stupid craft. Fucking idiot craft. Okay, PID time. The P in PID is proportional, which is what I've just explained. Add thrust in proportion to our distance from the set point. The further we are from where we want to be, the more thrust we add. Very simple, but it constantly overshoots the set point. The D in PID is derivative, 
Strap those thinking hats on, it's about to get complicated. Notice how this craft wobbles up and down in a beautiful sine wave. It's very... predictable. So what if we predicted it? That is the job of the derivative. It predicts where the craft is going to be in the future. Why is this useful? Well, think about what's happening when the craft is at its lowest point. It's currently telling the bottom thruster to push it back up. That's good. But now at halfway to the set point, the thruster is still being told to push, even though the craft now has enough momentum to reach the set point. So inevitably, it overshoots, and the cycle repeats. What if we could just pretend the craft was a fraction of a second in the future? Then it would cut the power before overshooting. So if I make the PID look into the future by 0.2 seconds, we can see the oscillations slowly settle. BAM! Rock solid. But we have a new problem. Our craft is trying to hover at 20 meters, but it's stuck at 16.88. Why won't it go higher? Well, think about it. Just to hover, this craft needs about 40% thrust. If we were to get any closer to the set point, the controller would lower the thrust, and we'd fall back down again. This is where the I in PID comes in. Integral. Teaching you about integrals is a bit beyond the scope of this video, but basically it sees we're not quite there yet, and adds a little bit of thrust until it's at the target altitude. And voila! Our craft used to look like this, now it looks like this. Anyway, using this knowledge, we had completed our next unholy abomination. The Peanuts. Featuring hundreds of small missiles, lots and lots of medium missiles, some bright yellow lasers coming out of the tip, these four guns, and one very large missile right at the front. I'm four years old. Understandably, I built two. Wow. With our fleet bolstered with the incredible power of flying penis craft, it was time to take yet more territory. This time I had my eyes set on our western front. And before I knew it, the enemy was on the horizon. Gentlemen, it was time for violence. Kill! Kill! <laughs> Huge explosions. Oh my god. What is that thing? Ooh, big hit. Holy shit. Wow, there's a lot of missiles. Full power, full penis. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, ah, kill. Oh, okay. holy shit. Oh no! My ball sack! Everything was going fantastically. Everything except for our dwindling supplies. You see, missiles are some of the most expensive weapons in the game, and these crafts have a lot of missiles. We managed to keep them supplied for now by doing a cheeky bit of piracy, but it was still a problem. The fleet's second problem was that it was so deep in enemy territory that we couldn't repair. This small oversight, however, proved costly. Alright, go. Our next fight was against this thing. My vessel spawned in, and the Pissman 2 immediately did its signature move. Why am I half underwater? Sink. Dude, come on. Are you serious? Fuck it, we're going, we're going penis mode. That thing's blowing up my penis. No, peanuts, please. This man too is at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, oh. oh no! 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 What if I take the guy that's at the bottom of the ocean right now? Okay, it's finally destroyed. Oh my god. With that fight, we had lost two peanuts craft, combined worth a million materials to one small missile craft worth about 400k. Naturally, I changed absolutely nothing about the design and built two more, instantly wiping our entire stockpile of materials. Even though we had taken a massive fucking L on the western front, I could smell victory. The Onyx Throne Fortress was exposed, and if I managed to destroy that fortress, then that would wipe out the entire faction. So, I made a run for it. That's that's the enemy's main throne. Why don't we go for that? Let's go. Escalade. Begin! Holy shit. Keep going. Keep going. 
All right, keep the momentum up. Let's go. Begin. There it is. Oh, the missiles are already making their way in. Oh. No. No. Ball sack explosion. <laughs> it's raining missiles. Oh. Sit. No. Oh. And just like that, we had vanquished our first faction. The Onyx Watch was no more. And on cue, the council. Okay. This council gave me several options. Naturally, I clicked the option with the biggest reward and didn't think about it past there. I can make a lot of penises. I was confident, especially after learning how easy it can be to destroy an entire faction. All I needed to do was locate the enemy fortress, blow it up, and that faction would cease to exist. Turns out, my plan had one small flaw. The faction I had already done this to, the Onyx Watch, sniffs glue. The guys I just declared war on, don't sniff glue. Fuck! Shortly after making my declarations of war, new enemies appeared on the horizon. A small squadron of fighter aircraft. Now, if we consult our handy chart, these guys were pretty high on the fucking around axis. And as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Kill that thing! These things. A lot of little guys. I'm in the air! What the fuck? Oh. dead. The piss fleet was holding strong, but the next enemy would be a true test. The Gravitas. Worth over 1.2 million materials, it can fly, and it has giant, terrifying guns. This was the single strongest enemy we had faced thus far. Begin. Oh, big hit! Man, those guns look insane. What do you reckon I can cut them off? Surely, surely I can cut it off. Come on, big laser. This is what you're made for. Yes! See it! Yes! See it! Come on, zap through. Zap through. Go, laser! Yes! <laughs> Two thirds of our Pissman fleet had done their incredible maneuver. Sink. But. We had emerged victorious. Yes! 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 This inspired even more confidence, and on the map, I could see the Steel Strider's fortress. If I could destroy that fortress, once again, the entire faction would be eliminated. And before long, the fleet was at its doorstep. This was it. Battle Station! The battle has begun! It's glorious! Dog at that! Kill it! Oh my god, the lasers are insane! Wait, what happened to the- The other boats are dead! Gotta find the AI in these things. Where's your brain? Is that the AI? Wait, there's a- there's multiple. Ah, fuck. Turns out there was another base up north. So, I sent the fleet up north to the other base and blew that fucker to smithereens! And they still weren't dead. Even worse, this base was deep in enemy territory. The fleet was overextended and a powerful enemy force was bearing down on us. Well, fuck. I think it's time for a fucking enormous battle. Holy shit. Holy shit.
Uh oh, that's a lot of missiles. <laughs> that's a lot of missiles. Kill! Come on, boys. <laughs> Come on, boys. Wow, this thing's not taking any damage. <laughs> oh, he's taking big damage. No, they're all sinking. Oh, no. They're all sinking. It's all over. Oh no! There goes another one. Piss bad too. The fleet has gone limp. <laughs> How about the other ones? The other ones are not faring any better. It's fucking Jova. No, it's all crumbling. Ah. Oh no. This was a hard lesson in resource management. Sure, you can spend a bunch of resources building something big and stupid, but it's gonna be expensive and big and stupid. We'd only won our battles because of huge numerical superiority, spamming the shit out of missiles which cost a fuck ton, and our enemies being really shit. These enemies were not shit. And despite our crafts costing substantially more, they were outmatched. To make matters even worse, because our crafts were insanely expensive, I couldn't build any more of them. Gentlemen, it was all over. For the second time, I watched, helpless, as the enemies closed in, let's go, and destroyed my starter base. Oh, it's on fire! Ah! Oh, my beautiful home. My boat sweet boat, no! Rest in peace, it's fighting valiantly. It's trying its damn best, and it's dead. Once again, we'd lost. Is that it? That's it. With your dash dream now turned into a living nightmare, you row away in a leaking boat that smells of fish and old socks as you venture for land with your head hung low. History books will only mention the penis fleet in passing, an inconsequential footnote in the great history of Nita. Well, not if I have anything to say about it. Gentlemen, it was time to do this right. It was time to learn everything there is to learn about shipbuilding. Advanced weapons, shell configurations, armor optimization, cannon designs, missile payloads, damage management, whatever the fuck this shit is. It was time to build a navy more powerful than anyone on this planet could possibly imagine. Gentlemen, it was time to win. Next time. Psst. Ugly Christmas sweaters. MartinCedarPants.com. Get one. Now. <laughs>